you didn't really think we were going to go audio only, did you? You didn't fall for that. You know better than that. That's not how we roll on W7. Audio, video, five cameras, rocking and rolling the Badger Challenge in Milton. Game one, getting ready to go. DeForest and Oregon. On to the court we go. It's time. National Anthem starting lineups. You're watching the Badger Challenge on W7.
Just in time basketball, just the way you like it on W7. Welcome aboard to the Badger Challenge. Oregon and DeForest. Let me get uh, some things squared away here, first of all. Got to fix our view a little bit. Move you in a little bit. And get a scoreboard up. And I suppose you'll want a clock, too, while you're at it. You guys spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Let's see if we can do that, too. Why not? No score just underway. Oregon in black to Forest in white. That shot no good, partially blocked. Norsky's rebound. These two teams played each other on December 29th, and it was 72-68 to Forest. So... This is a rematch from just a couple weeks ago, right during the holidays. Oregon wanting some payback tonight. A little Panther power tonight. No score, just underway. That one knocked away Schmidt on the steal. Sam pull up. No. Tell you what, Milton set me up big time. Jeff Spiewa, athletic director, great, great, uh, great big appreciation for him. He got us a uh, really nice seating, got us, got me rosters, table, power, everything. I'll tell you what, Milton hooking me up. And this field house is gorgeous. First time here. I'll tell you what, the Badger does it right. At Beaver Dam and Oregon and DeForest. Rocking the colors. They got it figured out. No score, just underway. Big thanks, Adam Wamsley, head coach at Oregon. Uh, coach was kind enough to uh, lend us one of his kids tonight to run a camera for us. And then also Tim Chase from Beaver Dam has uh, generously agreed to do the same for the Beaver Dam Edgewood game. So you'll get both games in full video and not just audio. Now we'll see about tomorrow. What I'm telling the coaches is this. If you, use, if you let your kid film on my camera, I'll airdrop you a copy of the game right after. So it's just like you're filming it, except you're doing it for us and doing it for everybody who wants to watch and support girls basketball. So uh, it's a win-win. Jalen Durline on the shot. Now, Durline was out last year and uh, back, in, back uh, at full force now this year after a knee injury last year. So we'll get our first look at Jalen Durline for uh, DeForest. And believe it or not, she is a senior, I believe. Let me double check my notes. Yeah, Jalen, a senior. Sister Jordan, a sophomore. All right, I got to fix my cameras here. Give me a second, y'all. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right there. Knocked away. Picked up Oregon. Still no score. Nice pass. Drop pass and bucket. Olivia Nice for two. Nice it was. And the Panthers on the board first. 14.36 to go, first half, dribble drive, and we're going to have a foul on the floor. Caitlin Studebaker on the foul. Inbound, Ryan Oberg. Oberg has it blocked. Ryland, Ryland Oberg. I think I made that mistake last year. I think I called her Ryan last year. It's Ryland Oberg. All right, I'll get it right this year. Shot no good. Durline hands it off. Now top of the key, that's 11. Aspen Kelleher and out of bounds. So almost four minutes in, and it's 2 nothing. If this is your first time watching, welcome to W7 Productions. We live stream and promote high school girls athletics. 
That's our mission. We are 100% for the girls, girls sports only. So if you're here looking for a guys game, you're in the wrong place, man. 2 nothing. 3. Caitlin Studebaker for 3. 5 nothing. Panthers. See if DeForest can get warmed up here. Three from the corner, no. Delaney Neinheis on the rebound for Oregon. Here is Sam Schmidt, watch her tonight. Schmidt, 11.1 points per game, leading scorer in this team. Leading scorer for DeForest is uh, Jalen Durline with 13.4. Fun fact about Oregon, no seniors on this team. You heard me, no seniors on this Oregon team. Pass inside, nine highs, and one! Delaney Neinheis on the hoop. Seven nothing Oregon. Foul is on 12, Sophie Isel, her first. Neinheis at the free throw line for one. Delaney on the year, 18 of 31, 58.1%. Free throw in and good. Three points for nine highs. And it's eight nothing Oregon. 13 10 to go. Tell you what, you'll notice about Oregon just hard nosed defense always attacking the ball. Durline on the drive, shot rolled off. Rebound, Olivia Nice. Nice into the front court. Nobody stopped her yet. Step through, shot, got it, got to stop her. 10 nothing. It's all Panthers so far. Timeout, DeForest. 10 nothing Oregon. You're watching W7 Live, presented by the Pat Connison Foundation and powered by Jolly Good Soda. We're coming back. Jolly Good Soda. We put the pop in Wisconsin. Ten nothing Oregon. Twelve thirty-seven to go, first half. You're watching the Badger Challenge on W7, presented by the Pat Connaughton Foundation, and powered by Jolly Good Soda. DeForest needs a little power here in the first half. No points yet. We are almost six minutes in. Inside pass, dribble, shot, and foul. Shot rolls off. Going to the line will be number 10, Jada Kelleher. So Aspen, the senior, number 11, and Jada, the junior, number 10. Jada averaging 13.1 points per game. First free throw is no good. Kelleher on the year. Uh, it says three of four. I'm sure that's not right. You're watching the Badger Challenge on W7. Badger Challenge or Badger Conference stats are a little hit and miss. I'll just I'll, I'll say that. A little hit and miss. Kelleher one for two, and you hear the <laughs> the Bucks tone come out. I love it. The four is a little power here in the first half. 10-1. The chimes. I was looking for Sidney Moncrief on the on the free throw there. Inside pass. Kick out, Durline. Top of the key, Kelleher back to Jay. Going to the line will be number 10, Jada Kelleher. 
Now Jada Kelleher to Macy Bartles, number three. Bartles in now. Bartles at the corner. Pump fake, didn't take it. Drive shot blocked. Olivia Nice says, uh-uh, that's not very nice, Olivia. Badger challenge or Badger conference stats are a little hit and miss. I'll, just, I'll say that. A little hit. 10-1 Oregon. Kelleher one for two. 11:36 to go, first half. Tone, come on, I love it. Top of the key, Bartles. Kelleher skip pass, Durline. Back to Bartles. Now in the corner. And we're going to have a foul. That's going to be on 24, Carly Zick. That is her first. To Macy Bartles, number three. Bartles in now. Bartles at the corner. Allie Armstrong in for DeForest. Drive shot blocked. As well as Ryland Oberg checking back in. Oh, that's not very nice, Olivia. Ten one Oregon out of bounds. It'll stay with DeForest. I'll tell you what, Oregon being aggressive. Eleven thirty six to go first half. Top of the key, Bartles. Nowhere to go with it. Knocked away and stolen by the Panthers. They're just a step ahead every time. Double dribble. The steal that time was Brooklyn Bastion, number four. Raise your hand or put in the comments if you thought we were going to live stream audio only tonight for this game. If you really thought that we were going to do that. Put your hand up. Let me, let me hear from you. And Beaver Dam came and bailed us out. So tomorrow, if you're a Beaver, if you're a Badger Challenge coach and you're playing tomorrow, I'm going to make a deal with any of you. Give me your kid to film with our stuff. You don't have to bring tripods and all the other stuff. We'll film the game, then I'll airdrop a copy of it right from our camera to your iPad before you leave. Good as it gets. I'll hook you up. 10-1. With 10.57 remaining in the first half. Boy, DeForest just could not get going here so far. Double dribble. The steal that time was Brooklyn Bastion, number four. Picked up in the corner off of, Zick throws it off of the uh, DeForest defender. It'll stay with Oregon. And or put in the comments if you thought we were going to. I'm going to expand my uh, camera view a little bit here. Maybe. Thought that we were going to do that. Put your hand up. Let me let me hear from you. Blocked. Back into the Panthers, number 15, Blaney Nineveh. Still a little wacky. Nine eyes back in for Oregon. They lead 10-1 with 10:30 remaining first half. If you're a Badger Challenge coach and you're playing tomorrow, it could deal with any of you. Give me your kid to fill. Shot off the side of the backboard. Nobody's won any style points on this one so far. I'll tell you that. Tripods and all the other stuff. We'll film the game, then I'll airdrop a copy of it right. In the corner, Jalen Durline working on from our camera to your Caitlin iPad. Studebaker. Good as it gets. Entry pass stolen away. Night Heist deflected it, and Zick picks it up. Hooked you up. And one with 10.57 remaining in the first half. Shot in and good. Caitlin Studebaker for two. That's five for Studebaker. In the corner, off of Zick throws it off of the. And it is 12-1. Oregon. Drive shot, boy, everywhere but down. 
That, that could not have been any, that was halfway down and came back out again. Schmidt for Oregon. Top of the key, Bastion. Sam Schmidt, three, way long. Nine highs on the rebound. Delaney in the lane, step through, up, in, and is fouled. And we'll head back to the free throw line. Delaney, 18 of 31 from the line, 58.1%. Oregon as a team, 56.9% coming into tonight. First one in and good. <laughs> that chime never gets old, man. <laughs> Six points for nine eyes. Oregon on the year. Six and five. Beat Stoughton, lost to Madonna Grove and Kettle Moraine. Beat Fort. Nobody's won any Beat Milton. Beat Monroe. Lost to Edgewood and McFarland. We did that game uh, at McFarland. That was a fun one. Beat Hartford. Lost to DeForest. And then beat Mount Horeb. 14 1. Nine highs drains them both. Out of bounds. Oregon ball. Coach Schwen's got to be like, what is, is my team going to be showing up here soon? What's going on? Four points for Delaney Nineheis. 14 1 with eight and a half to go. Drive underneath, bucket. Clara Tracy for two. Hey, there it is. Rylan Oberg breaks the seal for DeForest. It is 16 3 with eight minutes remaining, first half. It's early, it's early. Lots and lots of time. Top of the key, Bastion. Three. No. Nice rebound by Oberg. Ryland now down in the corner. Kelleher, baseline drive, pull up, jumper, got it. Jada Kelleher for two. 16 5. 7 37 remaining, first half. Sam Schmidt got to come back in. Nine highs for two. Got to do something with her. Six points for Delaney. Average is 8.7. It's 18-5, Panthers. Entry pass, out of bounds, Oregon ball. Nice and Schmidt back in for Oregon. Tegan Schenker in now for Oregon. Edgewood and McFarland. We did that game uh, at McFarland. That was a fun one. Beat Hartford, lost to DeForest, and then beat Mount Horror. 65. 65. Timeout, Oregon. We'll take it with them. You're watching W7. Jolly Good Soda. We put the pop in Wisconsin. Eighteen five Oregon, seven minutes to go, first half. Coming up next, Edgewood Beaver Dam. That shot no good. I haven't seen Mike Thronston yet. I'm sure he's going to be here. Daily Dodge uh, got to be here for this, I would think. Maybe not. Maybe Mike's taking the night off. Nah, he's probably up at the booth up there. Yeah, that looks like Mike Speed up there working out of the uh, press box. Durline three, no. Yeah, I think I see those guys up there. Nine highs, missed it. Rebound, nope. And finally pulled down by DeForest and a foul. Three, no. 
Nice rebound by Oberg. Tegan Schenecker on the foul. Baseline drive, pull up, jumper, got it. Jada Kelleher for two. 18-5 Oregon. Drive, shot, and a foul. Sam Schmidt got to go to the free throw line. Will be Jalen Durline. Got to do something with her. For Delaney. First one in and good. <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time I hear that. Nice and Schmidt back. One more for Durline. For Oregon. Got it. 18-7. Tegan Schenker it out for Oregon. From the corner, three, ribs out. Another offensive board for Oregon. They are just owning the boards tonight on DeForest. Nine highs on the second chance. Gets it. 20 to seven. Eight points for Delaney Nine highs, and now a travel. Oregon ball. Is Olivia nice? Beautiful, beautiful field house. Wow, Milton, you guys did it right. This is this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Three. Durline, no good. Nice on the rebound. Live into the front court. Puts it up and she's fouled. One for two for nice. You know, the nice thing about that chime is if I'm not directly looking while the free throws are being shot, I'll, I'll know if it went in or not. So um, kudos, Milton. Kudos. 21-7, 450 Round remaining first seven. half. We put the pop in Wisconsin. Coming up tonight, as always, following the game, we will have the Pat Connaughton Foundation Player of the Game. Runner, no. 18-5 Oregon, seven minutes to go for a half. Offensive Edgewood, board, Edgewood, Bartles, one dribble, and is fouled. Mike Bronson, you got a jury for the beater. Bailey Dodds, uh, got to be here for this. Okay. Maybe not, maybe Mike's taking the night off. Nah, he's probably up at the booth up yeah, that looks like Mike up there. Jump ball. DeForest basketball. Three, no. or, I'm sorry, Oregon basketball. Yeah, I think I see those guys up there. Nine high. Missed it. Oberg back in. Rebound. Nope. And finally pulled down by DeForest. 21 7, Oregon. Wide open. That's too easy. That's almost stealing. McKenna Carroll on the board, and it's 23-7. Timeout, DeForest, it's all Oregon. You're watching W7 Live. The Pat Cosm Foundation prides itself on the impact that we have. 
Uh, we started with clinics. We've grown to courts. Our new coming initiative uh, is character, AKA scholarships. How do we find a way to have an impact on a kid that will change their lives forever? We want to find ways to help reward those uh, student athletes, help get them access to a better high school, a better AAU program, a better college, both on the court, but especially off the court. We want to someday have many kids that say, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am today if it wasn't for the Pat Content Foundation. We can't do that ourselves. We do that through people like you. We're excited to launch the endowment program for scholarships in the next coming years, and we want to make sure that you stay up to date on all the things that we're doing uh, at the PCF. Be sure to follow us on social media. Be sure to visit our website on a regular basis. And be sure to sign up for our newsletter. Thank you again for your support. And at W7, it's for the girls. Twenty-three seven, three fifty-eight remaining first half. It has been all Oregon so far. DeForest just cannot get really any looks or anything to fall even. Drive shot blocked by Nice. She's having a great game, Olivia Nice. Schmidt on the drive shot, a little out of control. Rebound, Oberg. Seniors on this DeForest team, Macy Bartles, Aspen Kelleher, Jalen Durline, and Mia uh, Kuypers. Three thirty remaining. DeForest looking to get on track here in this uh, first half. Kick out. Oberg. Knocked away, but uh, Kelleher runs it down. Now back to Ryland, top of the key. Three minutes and counting. Kelleher again, the Oregon faithful. Cheering on their Panthers. And now we'll have a jump ball. Sam Schmidt made that happen. It'll stay with... DeForest, tell you what, DeForest just looks a little, I don't know, just uh, out of sorts here so far in this first half. There's a nice entry pass. Nice pass. Oberg to Jada Kelleher. Five points for Jada Kelleher, 23-9. Two and a half to go. 2.44 to go, I should say. Coming up next, Edgewood Beaver Dam. Three point basket. Brooke Bastion for three. 26 9. And a foul on 10. That's Caitlin Studebaker. 2.23 to go. Well, oh, I will tell you, internet bandwidth not what I would call readily available here. Cellular bandwidth, anyway. It's been uh, a little dicey. So we're going to try and fix it at halftime. Went out of bounds right through Jordan Durline's hands. Jerry Schwen, head coach at uh, DeForest. Got to be wondering what's happening tonight. 2.14 remaining, 26-9. This first half might be one of those you throw in the can and don't even bother watching. Just skip to the second half. If you're a DeForest coach, it's probably not sure what you take out of this. Oregon has just played stifling defense. There's a nice steal. Sophie Iselt on the steal for DeForest. Here's Oberg. Ryland into the lane. Bounce pass to Durline, back to Oberg. Durline in the corner.